Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how we can add and manage users inside the DNN and also how we can manage security rules inside the DNN. So right now, I've looked in as the super user account. Okay, now here from the top, if you go to users and manage users, you will go to the list of the users inside the DNN. All right, so right now from here, click on add a new user so you can add a new user. So right now. Let's give it a name of test and also a display name of test and just give it a test email. So right now we have a couple of options we can use. First one is authorize. Now if the user is not authorized, he will not be able to log in to the uh, portal or let's say the DNN site. And also notify. So if you would like him to receive an email that we have added it, uh, you to this po uh, to this DNN site, we can check this one and he will get an email. Now for this demo, I'm gonna just leave it. Okay. Now we need to specify a password for him. Let me just make this larger. I'm gonna just give it a simple one. All right. So now. We can just hit add a new user and it will be added it. Alright. And as you can see right now it has been added. So how I can edit its data or let's say telephone address etc. From right here on the left side there is a pencil like and you can just hit on it so you can edit the user info. Now from here you can almost edit everything. So like you can edit his username, his display name, what is his email, etc. And also you can specify different options like you can unauthorize the user, you can force a password to change or just make him a super user. So you can also manage the rules from the rules tab right here, the second tab. And you can add whatever rule you like to this user. Let's say you would like to add a translator rule to him. You can choose which is the effective date when it's going to start and when it's going to be ended. You can also just leave it blank if you want it to be a parent a rule to that user. You can also, if you would like him to receive an email that we added this rule to you, you can check this one so you can he can receive an email. And simply, you can just hit right here, add rule to user. So now he will have the translator rule. And also, you can just remove it from right here. You can just hit this delete and remove the rule from him. So now, you can also go and manage his password from the third tab, manage password. You can change it manually if you would like to. Or you can just hit right here and send a reset link to him. So now, here is the fourth tab, which is manage profile, which is just some data or let's say basic information about our user. You can add, let's say, a prefix, Dr. Mr. ETC, his first name, last name, biography, ETC. Okay, and here is some also contact information and also some location information. If you would like to choose a country, uh, a time zone, what is the preferred English, whatever you like. And you just hit over here, update, and it will update the user information so let's just hit update we did not actually do anything so the update will not do really anything and you can also just simply delete that user so let's see close that all right now we have seen how we can add a user now what about security rules if you go to the users right here at the top and go to manage rules now from here we can manage the rules for the portal or let's say the whole uh, site okay now as you can see here we can uh, let's say it's uh, enter a fee for him every way every win to charge him what is the period of time etc and also if we have a trial version for each rule okay and you can choose if it's a public rule you can see also how many users actually in this rule so now let's go ahead and add, add a new rule. Now let's call it a test rule. Okay. And here we can specify some, some info to it like a description. I'm going to just leave it test. If you would like it to place 
under a certain group of rules you can do that but for now we're gonna just leave it for the global rules and also you can choose if you would like it to be a public rule okay and also if you want automatically the users to be added to that rule so like if you add a new user directly he will be added it to that rule and also if you would like to add it to the exciting user so like the test user we just created we would like it to have this test rule we can also check this one so he can have it now you can choose a different security mode which is if he a security rule or a social group etc we're gonna just leave it at security rule and you can also change the status of that rule so if you would like to disable it so no longer hits permission work you can just choose dis disable right here or approved or just uh, leave it at admitting if you have like a superior uh, waiting for his approval so now let's go to the advanced settings section okay we can specify let's say a service fee for this rule let's say i would like him to pay 10 for it how uh, which is the billing period let's uh, choose every month okay uh, if we would like to specify a trial fee i'm gonna just leave it as uh, zero okay i'm gonna just leave it blank okay and if you would like to to place an rsvb code so he can use that rule okay and as you can see here is some warning the payment process setting on the admin site setting must be configured to enable fee based rule service so we need to go to the settings uh, admin site settings and configure the uh, payment process so this will be effective okay now i'm going to hit actually let me expand it and i'm going to hit update and as you can see here's here's our test rule it will be charging every month a ten dollar fee okay and also we can see how many users actually have uh, let's say have been assigned to this rule okay so i hope you enjoy this lecture and find it useful if you have any question or comment please don't hesitate to share it with me on the in the discussion section of the class or in the discussion section of this lecture. Thank you.
Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how we can add and manage users inside the DNN and also how we can manage security rules inside the DNN. So right now, I've looked in as the super user account. Okay, now here from the top, if you go to users and manage users, you will go to the list of the users inside the DNN. All right, so right now from here, click on add a new user so you can add a new user. So right now. Let's give it a name of test and also a display name of test and just give it a test email.